is the fact that they can just burn the mana down from a Shaman in about a minute. Keep an eye on Absurge's mana bar. That may be the strategy that they try to employ here. If Absurge's favorite color was purple before the start of this series, it definitely isn't going to be at the end of it. That was worse than the Panda joke yep. said. Diamond Ice over on a Sea-Doo. <laughs> and Sea-Doo is playing the Spirit Link, but the good thing about this for him is both Mez and Trill are going to be able to heal themselves a significant amount already. You can see Absurge taking quite a bit of damage very early on, but it's Mez and Trill that are falling behind quickly. I don't I'm not sure if this is actually going to work out too well for them. I'd only imagine they're playing Demonic. Ascendance pop for Sidu. That's a huge amount of recovery mechanics used within less than a minute of this match. This could be a quick one. Yeah, I, I sure hope so. I mean, so far the pacing has been pretty, pretty quick in this game number one of the grand finals. Sidu's already used his Ascendance. Spirit Link still being used. You can see Sidu's mana isn't Double actually mana doing burn. too bad. Double mana burn over onto Absurge. They can continuously connect that. It's going to be devastating for Absurge. Sidu just needs to find a way to keep himself alive. His Demon Hunters are self-sufficient with Leech, like vampires, stealing the life from their target. They can heal themselves, so Sidu needs to focus single targets, healing on himself as much as possible and just avoid the fight. He's doing a good job so far. He's still securing a significant mana lead. Pressure is mounting, though, towards Trill. Sidu has no big recovery me mechanics. He's got a duck in this earthen shield to him. There's the stun. Double mana burn off the back of that. Absurge now down below half. And this is certainly... I could see this actually not making it to Damity at this rate. Yeah, Method Orange, they just need to stay alive. Sidu needs to keep them up. He needs to avoid the interrupts. He needs to avoid the crowd control the best he can. He needs to not go down. He gets behind the pillar. He's going to be able to top himself off. Absurge, he's running out of time. You can see he's running away. He's looking for a drink actually sitting down for it. I'm surprised Mez and Trill haven't tried to shut this down a little bit earlier. Absurd is going to be able to recover, and there it is. Trill comes over. There's the stun. Double mana burn potentially coming through. There it is. Absurd's running out of mana very quickly. Yeah, but that drink allowed him to stay in at least for a couple more stun lock combos for his team. Jellybean's under fire, but Mez as well. Oh, whoa, whiz cake. You need to calm down. I don't need a heart attack. Absurd's getting stunned up there, trying to kite away from the mana burns. He was able to avoid those two. Great job on his part. It's definitely not an easy thing to do to avoid two mana burn circles. CD doing his best, though. He's under fire as the Gosu crew switch their attention. Yeah, but he has two darknesses to work with. Both Mez and Trill can support him with that ability, if it is ever very scary. Absurge mana actually doing relatively fine. There's the stun. Double mana burn coming in from Trill and Mez. You can see how much mana that takes away. It's about 10% every time Absurge gets hit by both of those. So not only does he have to heal through two Demon Hunters, he has to avoid those circles, but it's so hard when he's getting caught into the stuns. Yeah, right now Mez and Trill switching behind the pillar to get healed back up. Now charging across the map to stop the drink. They need to make sure Absurd doesn't drink. That's their win condition. Why else would they be playing double mana burn? Another two mana burns sinking into Absurd. He's almost completely tapped. Double stun under the DPS. But get two trinkets? That was a high value stun there for Method Orange. That's going to open up a window of opportunity here moving forward. Yeah, Mez and Trill still just chasing Absurge down. They found their target. Imprisonment into double mana burn. This is a nightmare situation for Absurge. This must be so frustrating. There's nothing he can do to get out of them. Mez and Trill just chasing them down in demon form. I can hear the error messages now. You require additional mana to cast <laughs> this. It's not looking too good for Absurge right now. They need to start swinging the momentum, but Sidu has major recovery mechanics available here with Ascendants. He's going to rotate one by one through those. Another stun. Mana burn connects. Absurge is basically tapped, and we're very close to dampening at this point. Yep, Absurge still under fire, almost at completely tapped on mana, and you can see Trill is trying to put pressure out on the Jelly Beans and Whiskey, and I'm actually surprised at how well Absurge is healing through this, or how little damage Trill and Mez are really doing. Maybe all they're really going for is that mana burn on Absurge, and then they can really pull the trigger on the demon form, oh. try to get really aggressive. You can see Trill has Metamorphosis coming up in 26 seconds. That's going to be so difficult for Absurge to really handle when he has no mana. All right, Absturge, what are you going to do in this position? In the meantime, Diamond Ice Trap on Sidu. His team is starting to rot down. Another fell eruption secured as Triz, Trill and Mez make their way towards Absturge, and all he can do is run. There's not really anything else he can do but move his character in the opposite direction of the opposing team and hope that Jellybeans and Whiskey can carry him. 
Man, a Rift is doing so much work for Mez and Trill in this game. But Mez actually rotting down a little bit low. Sidu still has a lot to work with. There's the Chaos Nova onto Jelly Beans and Wiz K. Looks like Mez and Trill, they want to start putting a lot of pressure onto the DPS. Mana Rift once again over onto Abster's caught into the caps, then completely tapped on Mana at this point. Sidu's very healthy, not even in dampening. But now Mez and Trill with Demon Form, they're going to be chasing down Abster's looking to close out this game. I mean, he's Abster's just a legend to still be alive at this point with absolutely nothing to his name except that ghost wolf and running away spying his team any opportunity that he can in this grand final they want to secure their first place finish on points but oh, oh no this is just this is just gone he has darkness trill has darkness that was just that was whiz k i want to see the replay of that game mez just exploded from 60 percent hp to zero and just a short interrupt on sidu basically either one of these teams they win this tournament that's going to be that's going to be basically their spot at blizzcon not maybe 100 percent guaranteed but it would be very very difficult at that point for them not to qualify so uh, it makes sense that they're saving it as sort of their ace in the hole all right, crowd control early on here for the team of the Ghost of Crew as they gun down for Mez. Seems like he's doing all right. They're trading out Blur and reducing a lot of the initial pressure. Mana Rift's already being casted on Absurge as well as him losing a significant chunk of health. Yep, already taking quite a bit of damage. You can see Mez and Trill really trying to put out some pressure early on. Looks like Mez and Trill might actually be splitting up their metamorphoses this game instead of just having that one moment where they sort of all in together. They're splitting it up, and that just gives them more consistent damage throughout the game. I want to see the Imprisoned Mana Rift combo more. They could Oom Absurd twice as fast if they can rotate that into their cycle. There's a Fell Eruption likely going to be the Mana Rift. Absurd is already below half mana. They're switching to him as well. He's on the run. I think he may be playing the Ghost Wolf talent to run faster. I'm trying to check for an Earth Shield on anybody here. Looks like Jelly Beans doesn't have Earth Shield. Wizk does, so he's not running the Spirit Wolf talent but he is maybe running Spectral Recovery. That way it doesn't cost anything for him to heal himself at least. He's got to figure out ways to deal with this Mana Burn strategy. Otherwise, I mean, it's not looking too good already. He's already below half. What can you do? You can try to drink, but you have two Demon Hunters flying at you. <laughs> Trill activates the Metamorphosis, trying to get aggressive. There's the stun. Mana Rift gets activated by Mez and Trill. Absurds moves out of it. Doesn't take too much of a mana loss there. I think he avoided them. Sidu getting uh, tunneled down by Jelly Beans and Wizk in this situation. They're really trying to punish him, uh, making it so Mez and Trill, they really can't chase down Absurge. It's a little bit too much distance. They get away from Sidu, and then Sidu can't refresh Spirit Link, and that's when Method Orange really gets in trouble. They just have to take it slow and steady. Obviously, Sidu is not a demon hunter. He doesn't move as fast, so <laughs> just wait a second and get, let Sidu get there and then go continue the pursuit because Absurge is in so much trouble. 30% mana remaining. This seems so much sooner than any other of the matches. Jelly Bean's now getting swapped over to... Nope, nope, they're just going to be running at Absurge. Sidu caught in a stun. Jelly Bean's not going for that Diamond Ice Trap just yet. Absurge doing whatever he can, but I mean, all he can do is pray. I, I feel like there's nothing in their favor at the moment. There's been a few times Mez and Trill have actually messed up their mana rift. I, I, I want to see them just really clean that up. Absurd should have already been Oom at this point. They missed it a few times. There's the mana rift with the stun. It uh, looks like both of them will hit, but they just need to make sure they're being very precise because that does play into their win condition. All right, Absurd, he's still just on the run praying for a miracle to be able to win this game. Everything is in favor of Method Orange. They have all of their defense available to trade. Other than overconfidence, I just see, I don't see how they can't walk away with this. There's another stun. Mana Rifts connect. Wizcase trying to off heal. He gets sheared by Sidu and shut down. And this is looking to be a clean win, but they are overextending. They left Sidu behind. The Spirit Link is about to fade. Sidu's making his way over. We got Tracker's net rooted by Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean's doing everything he can to keep Sidu separated from his team. They're trying to squeak in the damage. Are they going to throw again? It uh, doesn't look like they've got enough damage to put Mez down this time as they continue chasing down Absturge. Mez just needs to not be afraid of using the rain from above, using the darkness if he needs it. Trinket will proc on him. Uh, Sidu does reconnect the Earth Link. Earth, uh, Spirit Link to him, sorry. Absurge now almost completely capped on man. The last few mana rifts going to be used onto him. Mezzatril st still chasing him down. You see Mez, he has the demon form coming up in around 34 seconds. That's when he can get really aggressive. Drops the darkness. Doesn't want to make the same mistake as last game. Method Orange, like you said, said they have everything in their favor. They just need to make sure they play it patient, play it safe, because eventually I think they will win it. All right, this could be the final mana rift of the game as it connects and Absurge is completely tapped. 
What's he gonna do? He pops his sentence, but all of Method Orange are dogpiling on him. He's doing his best. He's making his way. He's somehow keeping this game going. Like any other shaman would be dead at this point. After it's getting imprisoned, that allows the entire team to catch up, connect more mana rifts. Diamond Ice Trap on Sidu. Let's see if Jelly Beans can keep Sidu separated from his team. Whiskey moves over and bashes him. I'm really looking for any sort of tracker's net from Jelly Beans. He throws the tracker's net. He's keeping Sidu far away and denying any refresh on the Spirit Link. But there's no damage. Absurd is still just being tunneled down. They can't force them off. Luckily for Absurd, he has another healer on his team called Wiz K, throwing out a lot of regrowths to keep him alive. Even when he really doesn't have that much mana, he can just keep Hurt Shield on himself. But when he does get some mana, use the Riptide, kite away with Ghost Wolf, and then Wiz K can help top him off in these very scary situations. All right, Sidu now getting attacked. I, I think that might be a better strategy overall, and maybe they can oom Sidu as well. Double stun as Mez and Trill switch their attention to the teammates of Absurge. Absurge is trying to sneak away and get a drink, but Sidu is all over. I'm not going to let that happen. Although Sidu is being targeted a lot more. They've managed to proc his Veiled Eye Trinket, that huge shield, as well as Astral Shift. Sidu committing a lot of cooldowns. Luckily, he's got Darkness Cells as well on his team to work with, so there's not really a moment to punish unless they can cross crowd control. Absurge is just doing whatever he can to stay in the fight. we will be very surprised if he wins this, but... He's doing his best. See you under fire as well. Whiskey and Jelly Beans trying to build some momentum. That's the thing, too, is when Sidu gets crowd controlled and left behind, the Spirit Link falls off. They should have switched to Sidu with no Spirit Link. I think that could be a viable option as well. Absurd still just on the run, and I don't know how he's alive, to be honest. Dampany has now started at 5%. It's just going to become increasingly difficult. Yeah, Trill and Mez, they cannot leave Sidu behind. I, I really want to see Trill and Mez. Like, I like that they're putting the mana refs onto Absurd, but I don't know if he's the best kill target. They are going to be popping the Metamorphosis, putting out a lot of pressure with the stun. Absolutely has zero mana left, but Wiz K looking for the regrowth once again. See, they're looking for the wind shears to shut that down, but look at Absurd just run away. It makes it very difficult for Sea to keep up and uh, keep that spirit link up. And now finally, Jelly Beans and Wiz K, they're starting to get some pressure. I, I hope someone in chat's been recording how many laps Absurd just made around the arena at this point. Double stun combo from Method Orange. Scary moment for the Gosu crew with nothing left in the tank. Jelly Beans is dangerously low. whiskey has been doing his best to back Absurge up. And as long as they can stay in this fight, Sidu's mana isn't looking too hot either moving forward. He's under fire. Trap on Trill, stun on Sidu. Pressure is mounting. Absurge, look at him. He gets away, looking for the drink. Does he get a few ticks? No, he doesn't. He actually got a little bit of mana there, but Trill shuts it down before it becomes too much. Uh, but Absurge has been running on fumes the last little bit of this game. Mez putting some pressure over on the WizK in the meantime. Sidu's mana not looking so good. Like you said, uh, Super Tease, this is going to be very difficult for Method Orange to sustain for much longer. All right, Sidu's got Ascendance. He's going to get that rolling right away to re-stabilize. And I feel like Mez and Trill, they either need to split targets. One person chases Absurge to deny drinks and keep mana rifting the rest of his mana. And then the other Demon Hunter goes on somebody else to create split pressure because right now, I mean, Absurge is just laughing because he's able to just kite and avoid all the pressure, and Method Orange are falling into the bait, basically. Yeah, Jelly Bean's getting a little bit low. Imprisonment over onto Absurge, looking for the mana rift once again. They managed to, unfortunately, miss it. So Absurge is going to keep that last little bit of mana that he has, tops off Jelly Beans. And like I said, I think WizK has been MVP in this game, making sure to toss out as many off heals as possible to keep his team alive and really assist Absurge as he makes a, a break for it. Look at him. He's across the map looking for a drink once again, always dragging at least one Demon Hunter with him. Now Mez and Sidu all alone, and that Spirit Link is much less effective effective if it's not on all three members. All right, Mez is going to be splitting on WizK while Trill chases down Absturge and denies any drinking opportunities. But like you said, it splits the team up. Spirit Link fell. He got Diamond Ice Trap. He has to trinket. He needs to refresh the Link. Mez and Trill pull back. Link has been refreshed. Sidu's running out of time, though. There's no darknesses from Double Demon Hunter available at the moment. No Astral Shift and no mana. And the Gozu crew are suddenly making look it look like this is winnable. Yeah, Mez, he pops the Metamorphosis looking for some damage, but Absurge always just so far away. They need to go on WizK. They need to go on Jelly Beans. They need to start getting some damage rolling. Absurge has been oom for so long in this match, but it really just hasn't mattered. There's the bash on Sidu. A lot of damage onto him. Diving nice out of that. Jelly Beans playing it perfectly with his crowd control. Now they can put some pressure over onto Mez. Continue the rot over onto Sidu. 24% dampening. Sidu is running out of time. 
I, I can't believe Abster just doing this. He's made it this far. I feel like Method Orange are just making small mistakes, missing mana riffs early, not splitting targets and keeping their pressure up, and it's kind of just sli slightly sloppy on their part, whereas the Gosu crew, they're laser focused. They're doing absolutely everything they can at any second to try and stay alive and extend this game to the point where Sidu is now actually tapped on mana with dampening so high. I don't know if Sidu can really keep this going. His team's in so much pressure. Abster just still tapped. But Whiskey seems to just be hanging on. Sidu could easily go down here. Spearlink, he's got no mana to do it. He's got no damage reduction if they tunnel him down as well in this position. It's anyone's match. Yeah, Earthen Shield Totem's gonna be dropped out. Mez getting low though. He has the rain from above if he needs it. Yeah, Jellybean's gonna be caught into the stun. Abster's completely oom. Sidu completely oom. Sidu now into the bash. He doesn't have the assistance like Abster does with Whiz K. Darkness gets dropped out. A long cooldown. Trill's gonna use that. They don't have another one available for a minute. Mez is the next one to come up, but and so much damage coming in from the Gosu crew. This is such a tense situation. CD doesn't have a trinket. If they can land a trap on him, they might be able to take down Mez. In the meantime, though, Jelly Bean's getting low. Wiz K getting low. We could see a cross kill here, Sid. Uh, easily. Absurd's finally getting stun locked and dipped low. Trill pulls the trigger on that metamorphosis, switches targets to Jelly Beans to try and catch him off guard. He trades aspects of the turtle, immune the incoming pressure. Whiskey's on the run. He's trying to help out Absurd. There's no mana left. Winchard denies the off heels from Whiskey. Absurd is just on the run, but Sidu is he's dipping low as well. Either team could fall at this point. Every single time these teams go head to head, it always results in pure epicness. Yeah, Mez getting a little bit low. His trinket is going to proc. Mez and Trill putting out huge pressure onto everyone on the Gosu crew. Method Orange looking to tie up this grand finals from now. Was K rotting down a little bit low. He activates his Tiger Spear. He wants to do a lot of damage over here onto Mez. Sidu looking like he just wants to he wants to keep following Absurge, making sure he's on top of Mez and Trill, enabling them to do as much damage as possible. But it might backfire as Jelly Beans and Whiz K make a swap onto him. All right, triple stun for the team of Method Orange. Jelly Beans has nothing left. And Absters did everything and then some to keep this game going, but Method Orange are going to close it out, tying this up one to one. Yeah, I think uh, I think he did back in a player that's given them given them so much extra texture in the compositions that they can play against Wiz K on his brand new alt that does just the most damage. Wow, this is exactly what Colo did. See, do he's going to be playing the Spirit Link build with. Uh, the adaptation, so we'll have to see if Gosu Crew can punish him the same way they were able to earlier on. All right, but he's not running Diamond Ice Trap, which means Reverse Magic will be super effective, although it doesn't actually look like Trill is running it, which I guess he was expecting Diamond I uh, Ice, so he didn't want to waste the Honor Talent, oh. but now he's not actually playing Diamond Ice, so it's a bit unfortunate for Trill. Yeah, that's a good read there by Jelly Beans, sort of seeing and maybe Method Orange saw the strategy that they implemented earlier on, and now they can really switch it up. So nicely done by the Ghost crew. So far, they don't really have too much pressure, though. Sam Am's using the Incarnation. He's getting some damage rolling onto Jelly Beans. Absturge so far has been able to heal through quite easily. Sidu still doesn't have the adaptation. Uh, making a swap on him. Looks like they want to pressure down Sidu. A lot of damage onto him very early on. Darkness gets dropped out by Trill. That's a fair trade. Jelly Beans and Whiskey committed their hardest hitting cooldowns. I think Darkness is more than fair trade. Sidu, though, still getting chewed up. He's going to proc that Veiled Eye Absorb, and he is falling behind. He's going to use that Spirit Link, and we saw how it worked out for Colo. so let's see if Sidu can handle this kind of pressure. The Gosu Crow are going to look to exploit that as soon as possible, I would imagine. Absturge hanging out very far away from the Demon Hunter Trill. He does not want to get mana rifted. So he's just line of siding, trying to duck around the corner before he can get stunned. Sam I am moving in, though, to try and get some crowd control. There's a Root Solar Beam, double stun combo. Great setup here by Method Orange. Yeah, Jelly Beans could be in some trouble here. Already used the Exhilaration. Fain Deaths trying to avoid some cast from Sam I am. There's a follow-up Cyclone on Absurge. It's going to fade, though, so... Absurd is going to be free to get some heals off onto Jelly Beans and Whiskey to pop them off. Absurd is now caught into the stun. I'm curious to see, is Trill still running the mana? Yes, he is. Just saw it on the ground there. He needs to be able to land those consistently on Absurd, and they can run him out of mana like we've seen in the last few games. I mean, this looks like a completely different game. Like, Sidu's team, they're all at 100%. Colo's team, they're all at 10%. I'm trying to figure out what the significant difference is. The only thing I see so far is that Sidu isn't refreshing his Spirit Link on cooldown. He's waiting trying to predict crowd control and then refreshing it. So right here, refreshing and expecting a stun or a freezing trap, letting it fall off and then refreshing it when he thinks crowd control is coming in rather than letting the damage distribute the entire time. He's trying to make sure he lines it up 
with crowd control. Jelly Beans under a lot of pressure right now, dipping below half. Abstrich caught in crowd control. This is good coordination between Trill and Sam I am making sure that Jelly Beans is stunned. Allows it denies the master's call, which removes solar beam. Jelly Beans had to shrink it to use master's call there, which you can only do every two minutes. Yeah, Absurd gets caught into the stun. Trill trying to get some pressure over there. Cedar gets caught into the trap. Adaptation will proc. So this is another opportunity for Jelly Beans and Whisk to put some pressure out on the Cedar. If they can catch him in the full bash, Trill still doesn't have a darkness available for another minute. And Cedar's being very greedy with the spear link in this matchup. Oh. Doesn't want to tax his mana too much. There's an interrupt on Cedar. Doesn't have spear link up. Sam I am as a result is going to have that trinket proc. Yeah, and that's going to leave an opening moving forward. Jelly Bean switching to Sidu just for a second to interrupt his incoming heals, try and make his life a little more difficult. Sidu staying ahead on mana due to the conscientious use of Spirit Link rather than spamming it out, make sure it's always up. He's trying to time it with crowd control. It does leave openings like this. Uh, Spirit Link may fade during this freezing trap, and if it does, Sam I Am will get erased. It faded for one second, manages to refresh it. Just in the nick of time to save Sam I Am. Yeah, both, both Shamans seem to be looking to be very conservative with their mana in this matchup. You can see Absurge and Sidhu relatively even. Normally you see the Spearling oh. Shaman way behind. Here's some good burst over on a Sam I Am. Imprisonment on Absurge. In the meantime, Jelly Beans and Wiz K both rotting down. Jelly Beans in full retreat, trying to run away to the safety of Absurge where you can connect some Riptides. Manages to find those. Wiz K there as well. This jungle cleave is a, a little bit scared right now, playing very defensive. Aspect of the turtle may be forced out. The stun over onto Absurge. Jellybean gets lower. Unfortunately, got a huge heal right as he used the aspect of the turtle. So it's going to be a little bit of overlap, but I guess it's better to use it than just fall down dead. Nice eat on the trap by Trill, breaking up the crowd control for Sidhu and allowing him to hold on to his adaptation to get out of the trap later on and potentially keep his team aggressive due to the fact that they forced Jelly Bean's major defensives. This is very important that they stay aggressive. They can get some crowd control on Absurge with a root solar beam and a stun on Jelly Beans. They could execute for a kill. Instead, triple stun, solar beam follow-up. Great setup by Method Orange. They need a little bit more crowd control. Sam I'm looking for Cyclones, trying to fake cast interrupts. He's got a lot of them to go through. Now Absurge just ducks around the corner. Instead, Cycloning Jelly Beans at low health, then moving over towards Absurge. If he can switch this Cyclone to Absurge, it would be devastating. He gets Cap Totem, though, trying to break it up. Great job by Absurge. Using that cap totem, delaying the clone and allowing himself to save Jelly Beans. Stun in the mana rift on Absurd once again. I think Absurd was able to get out of that, so I think he's really adjusting, and I think him playing Orc is very beneficial for him to get out of the mana rifts before it goes off with that fell eruption. He's been able to maintain his mana quite a bit, but still, Sam I Am and Trill, they're finding kill opportunities before Absurd Zoom. The Demon Hunter Boomkin seems to be a little bit more effective in terms of keeping pressure up on the Gosu crew. The only downside of running this freezing trap as opposed to diamond ice is that it removes all the dots, so they can't triple dot, and that's the significant difference than what we saw with Colo. Jelly Beans and Whiskey were attacking everybody, then diamond ice trap and attack somebody else and attack Colo again, and they can't do that without diamond ice, so I, I almost think it's a mistake that Jelly Beans isn't running it. Nice combo of crowd control here by Method Orange. Jelly Beans really feeling the heat as Absurd is trying to be greedy and sit through this. Although he's likely to get away with it, Jelly Beans activating those bandages, getting a big shield during that crowd control chain, find more than enough time for Absturge to sit through it. Trill switching his attention to Wizk, trying to split up his pressure, although now Vengeful retreating back to his team so that Sidhu can refresh the spirit link. Trill doing a good job of not overextending this time around. It's definitely something that the Gosu crew are going to look to exploit. Yeah, Jelly Beans just kiting away, still trying to avoid a little bit of damage. Sam I Am, he has that incarnation coming up in 20 seconds. Jelly Beans really doesn't have a clear answer for it. Absurd has the trinket, he has the spirit link, so that is a response um, for all the damage Method Orange is about to have. Stun onto Absurd once again into a full cyclone. Nice setup here by Method Orange. Now Jelly Beans still just cutting away, doing an excellent job in this game. He's gonna get out of line of sight. Sam I Am, he has the incarnation up, hasn't used it yet. There it is, incarnation's gonna get popped. Jelly Beans rotting down, Absurd's rotting down, everyone rotting down. Absurd drops the Spear Link as a response. All right, triple stun, root solar beam here. No aspect of the Cyril for 17 seconds. Can Jelly Beans buy enough time for his team to get that vital defensive cooldown? Narrow finish here with a stun on Absurd, but he preemptively got that healing tie totem. He's still cycling six more seconds, five more seconds. He's not going to make it. Method Orange now lead the series two to one. Oh my goodness, they are going to be able to do it. And this is huge for them because now we see the power. Pass the Gosu crew in points here today and possibly secure their spot at BlizzCon. There's a lot on the line.
Yeah, WizK and Sam I am. They're going to be charging midfield, getting up their dots right away. Pikmin just sitting in stealth. Trill has an ability on that Demon Hunter or Spectral Sight. He can see stealth's targets, so that's why Pikachu is playing very, very patiently, waiting for that to fade from Trail, so he can push in and try to get some pressure. Root Solar Beam, blind on Sidu. Both teams' healers in crowd control. The pressure is starting to mount. Sidu wants to trinket out and not fall behind, whereas Absturge is able to sit through this crowd control comfortably, while Wizk's Veiled Eye is going to absorb a lot of this initial attack. Yeah, I think WizK is going to be in a lot of trouble in this matchup. Trill's going to be able to cleave them down. They need to find some CC on the Absurd, though. There's a kidney shot on Trill with the root beam on Sidu. He has no trinket available to get out of that. He's already trinketed out of the blind. Trill seems to be okay, though. Good job keeping himself alive. Sam I Am seems to be pretty stable as well. In the meantime, Peekaboo and WizK, they're getting rotted down by Trill and Sam I Am. Absurd needs to catch them up. Yeah, Sam Am as incarnation, just ending, unfortunately, for him. That would have been nice to benefit from. Trill getting cycloned away. Sidu actually getting targeted down by Peekaboo. Surprising amount of damage towards him. Trying to deal with it to the best of his capabilities. Peekaboo now switching off, going towards Sam I Am. Abster standing on top of Sidu, potentially Wincher a heal. Absturge playing like an aggressive healer in this matchup, but now caught into a solar beam. Peekaboo goes for a shadow step kick. Both teams in trouble at this point with each respective Moonkin dipping dangerously low. Cyclone on Absturge, Sidu bounces out. He's gonna top Sam I Am. WizK is still on the back foot, trying to recover. Staying at the pillar in bear form, waiting for Absurge to leave crowd control. Connecting one Riptide, looking for another. Gets it. Absurge into the stun, Peekaboo into the clone. Believe WizK should start stabilizing in this position with Earthen Shield Totem. Reducing the incoming pressure now. Sidu caught in crowd control. Potentially Sam I am in trouble. Reverse magic though coming in from Trill. That's so key to remove those root solar beams. Trill now into a hex. Comes back to Sidu. He's able to dispel it. And I gotta give a lot of credit to Sam I am in these games. He's been doing an excellent job with the crowd control, with the damage, making sure his team can get pressure and really slow down some of the pressure that Gosu Crew has been able to find. Yeah, I mean the Gosu crew are focusing on triple pressure, triple threat, trying to keep all targets softened up, and then committing with that kidney shot and burst to try and catch C2 off guard. Whereas Method Orange are doing mostly single target damage on Whiskey. Bit split pressure on Peekaboo. Great setup here by Method Orange. Crowd control on the entire team. Wizke has to trade. He will recover as a result with that trade. But now with Barkskin on cooldown, he is more vulnerable. Yeah, Trill's been using his imprisonment on Absturge into a full cyclone. You can see there, Trill really just setting up Sam I Am to get some solid CC on Absurge, forcing WizK honestly very defensive in this matchup. He hasn't been able to get out too much pressure. Peekaboo's been trying to keep up his bleeds, kidney shotting Trill, trying to slow down some of that damage. WizK once again into a Cyclone. Sam I Am's been throwing those out all game. Now a Cyclone on Peekaboo. And basically, Method Orange, they, does, they do their go. They get out the crowd control. And then Sam I Am just plays really defensive. He throws out the Cyclone, slows down. Ghost Crew really ruins their opportunity to get any momentum. Peekaboo going for that blind sap combo on Sidu, and Sidu's being greedy. He knows that Peekaboo and Whiskey don't have their hardest hitting cooldowns, so he doesn't want to commit the trinket until Vendetta has been used or Incarnation at least. Trill is more likely to trade a personal defensive in that situation so that Sidu doesn't have to expose himself in the future. Sam I am dips low. That's going to be his veiled eye absorbed proc. If he isn't careful and overextends, he's vulnerable. Whiskey getting bursted down. Another clean setup by Method Orange here. Going after Whiskey, forcing a trinket and a bark skin. Peekaboo in the meantime is trying to make something happen on Sidu. Yeah, he uses his vendetta on Sidu. Sidu didn't trade out the astral shift or trinket, so they weren't able to really pull too much. Sam I has that incarnation up right now, getting big pressure over on a Peekaboo and Whiskey. Imprisonment on Absurge, and this Demon Hunter utility is just so good. Demon Hunters just seem like they're in such a good spot in this expansion. Trill's really highlighting that. All right, kidney shot on Trill. That's going to deny any more bursts at the remainder of that metamorphosis. Peekaboo switching his attention to Sidu once again. And the split pressure is ooming Sidu faster than Absturge. At this rate, I think the Ghostly crew are going to build a lead that's going to result in victory. Now you can see WizK with his incarnation putting out a lot of pressure on the Sam I Am. Root Beam now over onto Sidu. There's the kidney shot on Sam. Ascendant's going to be popped by Sidu as a response to all the spread pressure coming in from WizK. He's going to be able to top off his team, but that's a small victory for the Gosu crew. Root Beam now on to Absurge. They make a swap on Peekaboo. He gets cut, uh, caught into the, the Fel Nova, and uh, it's going to be a little bit of damage traded out, but Peekaboo seems to be just fine. Fel Nova been able sounds to like a type of haircut. <laughs> <laughs> you go to a barber and you order a Fel Nova? This is why you're bald. <laughs> okay. Is that what you ordered, Sid? <laughs> hey, can I get the Fel Nova? <laughs> no, I ordered the Varian. <laughs> just, 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 
what, what is happening? <laughs> All right, let's see here. See you rotting down. We have just got into dampening right now. Whiskey still getting single targeted down by Method Orange in this matchup. There's a full blind on Sidu. Is he going to He decides to. Peekaboo caught into the sun. He uses the feint preemptively. That was very well done by Peekaboo to reduce some of that damage. Didn't have the trinket, but read that situation perfectly. Bit of a close call, though, now stepping into dampening. If we get a little bit deeper, Peekaboo doesn't survive a burst attempt like that. Mana still in favor of the Gosu crew, but they need to start whittling down Sidu's slightly faster. Peekaboo caught in the clone at low health. That's going to put some pressure on Abstridge to time heals right out of it. But now he's caught into a solar beam. Clean set up by Method Orange. Abstridge is forced to trink it as he is far on the back foot, trying to recover. Now caught into a stun. Peekaboo has to run, making his best around the pillar, but Trill is just gunning him down. Yeah, he's going to be chasing him. Peekaboo using the sprint, trying to run away. Doing the best he can. Abstridge finally out of the CC. Should be able to top him off. But Peekaboo, he used the Clip of Shadows. That was Abstridge's trinket as well. And Peekaboo seems to be a very vulnerable target in this matchup. Samurai getting interrupted on that Cyclone into the full kitty shot. Meanwhile, Peekaboo still taking a lot of burst by Trill. Imprisonment going to be used on Peekaboo. He trinkets out of that. He wants to continue this pressure. But I don't know. I think that was a little bit over aggressive. Yeah, aggressive decisions usually result in punishment. I would not be surprised to see Peekaboo go down in the next minute or two as a result of that trinket. See if he can be careful. He's going to need some Waz Shadow Steps, I think, to be able to survive another attack. As soon as Samai and Solar Beam is available, that's one second away. This could be curtains for the Gosu crew in game number four. Yeah, could be, and they definitely need to pick up this game to tie up the series. Otherwise, Method is. is going to be in a very advantageous position. Peekaboo putting this, getting caught into the stun by Trill. Trill still just really laying in, but uh, with the evasion Peekaboo has up, doesn't seem like he's really taking too much damage. That's going to be a stun over onto Absurge. Peekaboo not out of it yet, but he's continuing his pressure onto Sam. I am kidney shot forced to use his trinket to get out of that. Continue this damage, this assault on Peekaboo, but I think the Gosu crew has managed to survive. Yeah, I mean, the win condition is Sidu's mana bar for the Gosu crew. The win condition for Method Orange is Peekaboo's defensive cooldowns. And right now, Peekaboo is a lot lower than Sidu in that regard. He's going to need to be careful moving forward as Dampening gets higher and higher. Whiskey and Absurge both tag teaming back at the pillar. I'd almost like to see Whiskey push up more aggressively as Peekaboo is more vulnerable. Whiskey needs to get aggressive and look for Cyclones. He's got a Root Solar Beam. No Trinket available. Actually, Cedar Trinket out of that crowd control. Reverse Magic, sorry, from Trill going to break up that Solar Beam. Allow Cedar to save Sam. I am. That could have easily been the end of the game. Nice play from Trill. Yep, Trill trying to get some pressure on Whiskey. Peekaboo is, is very safe here. He has the Fane, he has the Cloak of Shadows, he has the Vanish. I don't really see Method Orange taking him down right here, but Whiskey, on the other hand, he doesn't have a trinket. He activates the Bark Skin. Absurd still in crowd control. In the meantime, though, Peekaboo looking for some pressure on Sam I am. Sam I might have to activate the renewal in the situation, going for the Cyclone onto Wiz K, denying any incoming heals from Absurd. Peekaboo lands the kidney shot on Sam I am, putting out a lot of bleed pressure. A lot of damage, but that trinket will proc. Sidu uses the ascendance and he's able to top him off. All right, now at this point, Peekaboo has the lead. He's got more defensives than Sidu does mana. The wind condition is starting to mount for the Gosu crew. And even though we counted this composition out in the pregame, it's definitely got some momentum. Whiskey, although on the back foot, needs to be a bit careful. Doesn't want to throw away all the hard work that they've been doing this match. He's dipping low. Absurge catches one Riptide. Whiskey ducks for cover. He looks like he's going to be able to survive back behind the pillar, but Stacking up his three members against Trill is not something you can do very long and not be punished. Yeah, Trill's going to be making his way over to Wizke. I think Sidu's actually sitting down for a drink right now. He's going to be ahead on mana <sighs> from Abs. This is a very key moment in the matchup for 25% dampening, and Sidu really did a good job realizing the momentum that his team had. Popped off his mana. Wizke taking so much damage. CC on to Abs. He's forced to trinket Link. Wiz K not out of it yet, though. Still so much pressure. Barkskin does fade. Stun on Absurge into the full Cyclone. Peekaboo needs to help Wiz K fast, or he's going to go down. I mean, it's Trill, man. That's a lot of damage. I don't know if he's going to be able to make it. Absurge drops the Earthen Wall totem. Wiz K catches a Cyclone. The only thing that could keep him alive at that moment. Good job by Wiz K. Not falling to the pressure. But unfortunately, they didn't deny the drink earlier by Sidu. And the advantage that they had has now been lost. Trill is falling behind as Sidu is desperately trying to sit through this blind. He'd rather use his trinket during the cooldowns of Peekaboo and Wiz K. Not during the downtime. He gets away with it. That is going to allow them to stay a lot more aggressive. Cyclone on Wiz K at low health. Denying the healing from Absurge's healing tide totem. It was a really amazing clone from Sam I am at this point in the game.
They need CC on Absurge. If they can get anything on Absurge right now, it's going to be game. There's the root beam. Wiz K, how are you going to survive this one? His only option, kill Sam I am. See the cotton of the root beam, he gets out of it. Sam I am activates the bark skin. Wiz K trinkets, he uses his bark skin as well. Very tense moment for both teams. 32% dampening. Sidu needs to recover. No ascendance available for him. Absurge manages to top basically everyone off. Wiz K could still be in some trouble. Sam I am's pushing in with his incarnation, looking to close out this game. Stun onto Absurge. Whiskey, it does manage to hold on just a little bit longer. That's surprising not to see Peekaboo commit the vendetta on Sam I Am. Sam I Am is very vulnerable. Oh, they bait Earthen Wall Totem. Everybody is dipping low. This could be a possible triple kill if the Gosu crew keep that gas pedal on the ground. Peekaboo going in for an aggressive vanish, getting Garrowed on multiple members, but Whiskey is still under fire. He's going on a one-on-one -on -one between Trill and himself behind the pillar. Trill is forced to retreat away. Sam I am is low. He's in trouble. Method Orange, they're on the ropes. Sidu drops his fear link, connecting the health of his team members. He needs six more seconds, five more seconds. Is Sidu going to make it to that critical point? He's buying a couple more seconds. Pop the solar beam, reverse magic from Trill. Sidu pops out of sentence as soon as he gets it, trying to bank a heal, gets wind sheared. Good denial by Absturge. Great follow-up by Peekaboo. Sidu needs to start getting some healing surges. He gets one. He gets two. He gets three in a row. No shadow step kick at the final second. Whiskey is still dangerously low as well. Absurge no way. Prison to wait. No Sidu way. He's going to recover and take game number four and put the trill, trill, crew trill. on match point. Is this going to be a cross kill? I don't oh. think so. Trill has so much mobility on that Demon Hunter. Sidu still has a lot to work with in terms of mana. The trill can just kite away. I think they have this one. What a close game. Method Orange turning it around to the brink of defeat. What a uh -oh. crazy turnaround. Not out of the woods yet. There was a kidney shot on Sidu's trinket when he used the blind. He can be forced to use the evasion. Sam I am putting out some decent pressure, but I just, I don't really see Method Orange losing in this situation. Piku doesn't have the damage and eventually will fall once that faint fades. And that drink really was the turning point in this one. Sidu was so far behind in mana and just an opening is made from, from his teammates as well. You can see Trill wanted to get aggressive on the Wiz K, but Sam I am saw the best way to extend it was to put only has he been an all-star, but he is making it so the Gosu crew actually enables Peekaboo and Jelly Beans to shine as well. And they're two of the best players at what they do. And WizK is supporting them and being a rock star. So shout out to the Gosu crew. Will they be able to extend the series here? All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is match point for Method Orange. If you're a Sea Doo fan, he needs your energy here and now. If you're a Gosu crew fan, formerly the move. They need your energy now. If they want to stay in this. They need three in a row. Yes, yeah, CDU caught into the stun. Big burst immediately coming in from Peekaboo and WizK. Trill's gonna drop darkness. Doesn't want to have CDU use anything else. Now WizK in a lot of trouble. He trinkets as well. Uh, looks like Absurd's preemptively dropped the Earthen Shield Totem. That was very well done by him. Now WizK doesn't have to use the bar skin. He trade off the renewal though. Sparks flying very early on. Yes, Sam I am's veiled eye trinket has now been procced as well, but Whiskey is the one still on the back foot with Absurd and Peekaboo locked down in crowd control. Peekaboo opted to trinket aggressively again. That is an opening, but he does manage to get the crowd control chain on Sidu. It's not the end of the world if they can keep up the momentum on Sam I am here. Really looking to pull more cooldowns, but not able to find it. Instead, switching targets. Root Solar Beam on to Sidu. Trill ducks back to remove that with reverse magic. Good teamwork from Trill, but Sam I am still under pressure. Yeah, he's taking a lot of damage right now. Sam I am needs to somehow find a way to get CC out on the ab surge. He's just controlling the game with the Cyclones on WizK. Then on to Peekaboo. Sam I am pushing in, but Peekaboo got a restealth, gets the Garrote in that situation. That's going to be slowing down Sam I am. Also empowering his damage with that empowered Garrote from stealth. Sam I am rotting down. There's the kidney shot. So you do not in any CC, though, able to get out some heals. Nice shadow step kick, though, coming in from Peekaboo. Forced to trade out the evasion as Trill is all over him right now. Ooh, nice cyclones on Sam I am by WizK. It's making it difficult for Sea to start to restabilize, and Peekaboo's pressuring him. Earth grab totem. Nice removal, though. Unfortunately, breaking, actually. I think Samai broke that root, and that means Sido has to deal with the brunt force of Peekaboo. Samai falling behind. Wizke trying to split the pressure. Kidney shot on Sido. Trill ducks back to force Peekaboo away. How much longer can Peekaboo stay over here is the question before he's forced out. Looks like Trill has forced him to pull out. He's not able to stay next to him, even though he would like to. Samai still low, but Peekaboo taking the brunt in the exchange, and he did trade his trinket earlier. 
Let's see if Method Orange can capitalize on that opening. And Trill has been doing a good job with those reverse magic so far in this game. There's a kidney shot on Sidu, though. In the meantime, Samurai is actually rotting down, but Trill making sure to play defense for Sidu, making sure Peekaboo thinks twice before charging in, taking quite a bit of damage. And every time Peekaboo overextends to get on Sidu, he's out of range of Absurge, so that's where Method Orange can really start building some pressure. All right, Trill and Sidu both just stay in the safety of that totem waiting for its effectiveness to fade before moving out. But Samayam is exposed out midfield. They're gonna proc his Veiled Eye. Still decent pressure on Sidu. I would say momentum this game is heavily in favor of the Grosser crew. Yeah, they've been really cleaned up in this game. A lot of CC out on the Sidu. He just forced, he was just forced to shrink it out. Now some pressure over on the Trill and Samayam. There is some openings here. They can get CC out on the Sidu with a root beam. Trill, he needs to get a reverse magic, but if Peekaboo can catch him in a stun, that might be an opportunity for them to take him down. Peekaboo's been kiting away, similar to what we saw Waz doing, you know, sort of this hit and run strategy, get up the bleeds and just try to avoid going toe to toe with Trill. All right, nice Cyclone at low health onto both members. Each Boom can get some nice Cyclones here. Shaman's trying to time their heels out of it to not fall behind. Right now, CD with no trinket, and then they're coming up in 52. Wizkay's in car available. They could make a swap. Peekaboo sees that opening. He's going to jump over. Wizkay trying to back him up. Darkness traded from Trill. Just playing it absolutely safe. It might not have been required, but Incarn and Darkness line up with the same cooldown, so it makes sense that you would want to trade them in that situation where CD had no trinket and not risk going down. Yeah, I feel like that incarnation from Wizk is a little bit more scary than that Vendetta. Sam I am has the trinket getting low. Big pressure on Wizk though. Root beam on Absurge. Can they take him down? Renewal gets traded out by Wizk and the Bark Skin. So Wizk, he's running on fumes. He doesn't have a Bark Skin. He doesn't have a Renewal. He doesn't have a trinket. Absurge luckily still has that spirit link and that trinket to get out of crowd control, top off Wizk when he needs it. That's something Method Orange has to work through. Sam I am ducking for cover. Sidu under fire as well. Peekaboo has really been laying it down. Sam I am's trying to give Sidu breathing room with the Cyclone. It's allowing him to cast a lot of heals, but he's casting healing surges, and those are very expensive. More Cyclones on Peekaboo. Wizkid trying to Cyclone Trill. Just stall out the game here and allow the Shamans to recover. Those two crews seem to have fully recovered in this position now with Evasion and Cloak of Shadows available. Sam I am in trouble. Wizkid laying in. Lots of star surges. See you in a good position to pick him up. Needs to be careful of that Shatter Step kick or potentially a Solar Beam from Wizk. Both of those interrupts could be devastating for Sidu. Yeah, look at the positioning from Sidu, though. Very good. He's dragging Peekaboo out of line of sight, making sure he's out of range to kick, four kick, and the solar beam. Sidu gets garroted into the kidney shot. He trinketed the blind. Now Peekaboo trying to punish that, but he uses the Cloak of Shadows. Now Trill coming to play defense once again. Procs the Veiled Eye onto Peekaboo. Wizkay's got procced as well. He used the Bark Skin also. Absurd's caught into the Cyclones, into the full imprisonment, but Wizkay and Peekaboo, they did manage to top themselves off. Wizkay still, you know, getting... A little bit of damage done to him. Root Beam on the Sidu now. Sam I am and Trill could be vulnerable. Yep, Trill ducking back and dispelling that with reverse magic. Definitely utilizing that utility quite effectively for it. Method Orange. There's no real openings right now for either side. It's basically a neutral stance as we move into dampening. Solar Beam for Sam I am will be up sooner than Wizkay's, which means the pressure will be swinging in favor of Method Orange for the next coming seconds. Sam I am gets stunned out of Moon Conformer. He's going to be taking a lot more damage as a result. Sidu trying to save him in these final seconds. Potentially Peekaboo went for the Shadow Step Kick. I believe Sidu managed to fake cast it. Now getting in position to connect some heals with good support cycle on Peekaboo. Wizkay, there's the Root Solar Beam. Wizk caught in a stun, he pre-bear formed it, and he has bark skin. This is definitely gonna make him durable enough, unless they keep the chain going long enough on Absturge. If Sam I can get more clones, goes for another, Peekaboo denies it. Yeah, there's a kidney shot on Sam I and Sam I can still be in some trouble. Uses the bark skin. Sidu doesn't have a trinket. They can keep up this pressure. Root beam on the Sidu. I don't think Trill has a reverse magic just yet. Cap stun coming in from Absurge. Sam I am all alone trades out the renewal, but he's so tanky with the bear form and the bark skin. Keep himself alive. All right, let's look at the situation here. Peekaboo still with no evasion and no cloak. He's definitely a vulnerable target with Dampany starting to ramp up. Sam I am's incarn available in 14. That is likely to be the kill target. However, on the opposing side, Trill has no trinket and Peekaboo has Vendetta. They could make a swap to Trill and try to find a kill there, but they seem just happy hitting Sam I am and denying any Cyclones. Darkness traded out again, lining up with Wizk's incarnation. A fair trade from Trill. Yep, Sam I going to be completely fine because of that. Peekaboo did trade out the Vendetta incarnation, like you said. 
Ab Surge caught into the root beam. Now Method Orange looking to get aggressive with Sam I Am's incarnation. Blue's K taking a whole bunch of damage, but Earthen Shield Totem once again dropped out by Ab Surge. Very nicely done. Now those two crew looking to strike back with the kidney shot on Sidu has the astral shift. Peekaboo's gonna be trading out his Vanish to get the empowered Garotes onto Sidu, silencing him up, and Sam I Am now full blind on Sidu. He trinkets out. And Sidu still holding onto that astral shift for a very long time. Whiskey is going to take a lot of damage for the next 25 seconds if they stay on him. He doesn't have Earthen Wall Totem or Bark Skin, but they're actually changing targets and going after Peekaboo. We'd really like to see them get back on Whiskey as soon as possible. Mana in favor of Method Orange. I'm starting to think that this is going to be going their way. Barkskin Renewal available for Sam I Am during this crowd control, so long as he trades it out in uh -oh. time. Trill jumps over to get Sidu out of that crowd control, allowing him to connect his defensive cooldowns and restabilize. Peekaboo still pressuring him now, landing a kick. Whiskey is the one falling behind, though. Great setup from Method Orange and tons of damage. Whiskey dips low, trades Barkskin. Stun on Absurd to follow up the crowd control chain. Will Whiskey make it out alive? Full Cyclone secured. Whiskey running for his life. Tournament life on the line. Winter on the off field by Sidu. Great backup, great chain, and this could easily be the series. One second away from getting that spirit link, but it's one second that you don't get. Method Orange are going to be the first cup champions. Method Orange takes it in NA, and Method Black is able to take it in the EU. Method all over the place today, and GG's to both of them. But all the way back to the beginning of the day, I know it seems like it was a long time ago. I want to give a major shout out to everyone in the back right now who made this show possible, and everyone on the desk. You guys did an absolutely insane job casting all of these series, and also to all of the players who played for so long, mainly in the EU, because these series definitely did take quite some time. But major shout out to Method Black who were able to do it. They started in the lower 